food banks nationwide are struggling to give out as much food as they used to. At the Hawking Athens Perry Community Action Food Bank Warehouse in Logan, shelves need filling. Even during COVID, when millions of Americans were out of work, food never dwindled to where it is now. As you can see here today, um, we have empty racks in our warehouse for the first time in years. And this is in part due to global supply chain issues. Food that would usually be coming through our doors, um, those orders are getting canceled and they're not getting rescheduled. Beverly Shiflett, a patron of the Food Bank's weekly food drop-off, says seniors will be most affected by this crisis. Especially when you're retired, you're on a fixed income, and um, the prices are going up, but your income isn't. The HAPCAP Food Bank services 70 food pantries and delivery programs around the southern part of the state. The Salvation Army Food Pantry in the Plains gets most of its stock from the Southeast Ohio Food Bank. Executive Director of the Ohio Food Bank Association, Lisa Hamler Fugit, says the shortage goes deeper than inflation. So this is the long lasting impact of COVID. And now what we're dealing with is um, the concentration of where product comes from. A lot of food that's grown here is shipped overseas to be processed and then shipped back. So we have now have supply chain issues in, in getting food back in. The Ohio Association of Food Banks is asking the state for $183 million investment. What we'll do is we will prioritize that. This is a collective statewide buy, so we will be purchasing more fruits and vegetables, uh, more shelf-stable items in the way of fruit and vegetables, boxed meals, shelf-stable items, meat, dairy, and eggs. For Newswatch, I'm Max Brunke in Athens.